Hello, everybody. This is day seven. How are you all doing? Um, one thing that's really nice to do is to just have a check-in and see, okay, I've been choosing these things. It's 10 minutes. It doesn't seem like it's doing anything, but what is it actually doing? Like what is changing? And just acknowledge if you're starting to perceive some other possibilities, maybe a little less triggery, maybe a little less heaviness. Um, maybe, maybe you have a little tiny bit more joy popping through. These are some of the things that you can look for and so many others. Like what is changing? Because acknowledging what's changing allows it to grow faster and continue to change. So it's not like, oh, that worked. You don't want to come to conclusion about it. But acknowledging the changes along the way um, allows it to grow even more. So how does it get any better than this? Today, let's see. Today, I wanted to share uh, one, one of the other tools from Access Consciousness that is called the crazy phrase. And the reason it's called the crazy phrase is when you're like crazy in your head and you can't seem to get out of it, um, you can say this phrase three, five, 10, 50 times, and it gets you out of that feeling like a dog chasing its tail. So um, this is how it works. Everything is the opposite of what it appears to be, and nothing is the opposite of what it appears to be. Everything is the opposite of what it appears to be, and nothing is the opposite of what it appears to be. Everything is the opposite of what it appears to be, and nothing is the opposite of what it appears to be. So that is the crazy phrase. I just said it three times. It's really great to do if you wake up in the middle of the night and, you know, your mind is racing, you can't seem to get to sleep. If you say that three, 10, 20 times, you'll most likely fall asleep and um, get out of that crazy monkey mind thing. So it's a really useful tool. So try it out. And then I also wanted to look at... Um, um, oh my gosh, I'm totally spacing on what it was. Was it resentment or regret? Yeah, regret. So let's let's look at regret today. Like what what regrets do you have in the past? Like what didn't you choose that you wanted to choose that you didn't think you had the ability to choose because of somebody else's point of view. And all of that heaviness, let's destroy and uncreate it, right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys, pobads, and beyonds. How many regrets do you have that you're still holding on to? And everything that brings up times a godzillion Will you destroy and uncreate it? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys, pobads, and beyonds. Wow. it's a lot of regrets out there. And remember, regret is a distractor implant, so it's distracting you from what's underneath. But let's keep going with that one. How many regrets do you have about what you did not choose that you're still holding on to? Everything that is times a godzillion. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys, pobads, and beyonds. Whew. And like this is bringing up some heavy stuff. So you might feel a little dizzy, a little nauseous, maybe um, just uncomfortable, tired. All of those are awarenesses of this energy. And once you let it go, you move it out of your system, 
it changes and then there's freedom and there's space and there's more movement. So how much regret do you have that's actually not even yours, that you're aware of in other people's realities that you think is yours and you're still holding on to it? All of that, will you destroy and uncreate it? Ooh, right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys, poets, and beyonds. <laughs> wow. Wow. Hmm. I wonder if there's even more regret that's other people's, that's not even yours, that you think is yours. Seems like it. That's so interesting. Hmm. We are interesting creatures. Whatever we think is... Um, important, whatever we think somebody else is going to judge us for, we like prejudge ourselves in order to not be judged, but we're already judging. It's crazy. So everything that is right and wrong, good and bad, bad and bad, all nine shorts, boys, poets, and beyonds. <laughs> so how much regret are you holding on to that's not even yours? And will you return it to sender with consciousness attached so that those people can become aware of it and let it go as well? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys, poets, and beyonds. Whew. My goodness. There's a lot of that. And hand in hand with regret is blame, shame, and guilt. So how much blame, shame, regret, and guilt do you have from way back in the past that you're still holding on to and maybe you forgot? You're just used to carrying that weight with you to work out your muscles. <laughs> Everything that is. Will you destroy and uncreate it? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys, povads, and beyonds. Oof. How much blame, shame, regret, and guilt are you carrying that's not even yours? Everything that is, right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys, poets, and beyonds. So what's underneath this blame, shame, regret, and guilt? Everything that doesn't allow you to perceive, know, be, and receive that will you destroy and uncreate it. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys, pull ads, and beyonds. And what energy, space, consciousness, and choice can you be to always know that you have choice and that you can choose joy, peace, possibilities, and what's fun for you. And that that actually creates a really cool ripple of possibilities in the universe to anybody who comes in contact with it. Everything that doesn't allow us to be that, instead of the blame, shame, regret, and guilt, let's destroy and uncreate it. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys, povads, and beyonds. <sighs> okay, short, sweet lives for you to change your life. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Please make sure you subscribe and um, like the videos if you like them and share them with people you know that this might have a positive impact for. Thanks so much. Bye.